What's good for you gang? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nicole Fia. If you are new to my channel, thank you guys for subscribing or watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe now. I'll wait. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Right. So, before we get started, let me just say this hair is sponsored by Mega Look Hair. They sent me three, no, they did not. They sent me four bundles of 26 inch and it's either an 18 or a 20 inch frontal. I made this wig by myself. I bleached the hair. I only have two bundles and the frontal in, so two bundles I didn't use. They are still black. So yeah, I'm basically gonna talk about contraception. This isn't gonna be a long video. So while I talk about what I wanna talk about, I'm gonna just curl my hair. And this is literally gonna be like my quick curly hair routine while I talk to you guys. I feel like this needs to be said, but before I get started, this is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Perfect Finish Polishing Serum. so good first what i'm gonna do is section the hair and brush it out okay so what i wanted to talk about is contraception i was on the injection for five whole mother years can you imagine i do not recommend it obviously everyone's different guys so please don't take my word for what's gonna happen to you but i would have recommend it i would not go back on it not even once oh crap I was on the injection for five years. Five blood clot years. I was on the injection in 2013 and I came off last year, which was 2017. The reason, ah, I burnt myself. Beautiful. Sorry guys, look at the curl. What? The bum injection for contraception is called Depot, 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 Depot. I don't actually know how you pronounce it. I'm sorry, but I just call it the injection. So basically, ah, I need to stop burning myself. So people get the injection every three months and it will stop you from getting pregnant. So I originally went on the injection because I kept forgetting to take the pill. So I'd forget to take the pill and then, you know like when you forget to take the pill, you have to take two the next day. I would have missed like the whole week and then I would take the whole week's pill, which doesn't make sense. It literally fucked me up. That's why I don't like the pill because I forget to take it. Am I a drug addict that I should remember to take pills every day? I don't understand. 2013, for the first month, I literally was bleeding like a mother <laughs> Bleeding for a month. What? That's dead. After that month, didn't bleed until this year. So when I was getting the injection for the first time, the woman did tell me that it's gonna make my joints really weak. It's gonna, something about like bone, bone something, bone, I don't know. I can't even remember what she said. It made my joints really weak. Like my knees were bad as it is, but the injection just made it worse. Like I was so weak. My joints were weak as fuck. How can they give injections to little girls and then they're gonna be dropping on the floor because the injection makes your bones weak. What the fuck is that even about? Like, but she said that I should only stay on it for two years and I should come off it after two years. Babes, five years. And the thing is, they were still giving it to me even though they knew that I was on the injection for over two years. That's the thing. I should sue them. Another reason why I really, really don't like the injection is because it really killed my sex drive. Like, there was times where I didn't ever want to have sex and I'm like, why me, Nicole? <laughs> It just didn't make any sense. Like, that's all dead. Honestly, I thought I was going mad. Okay, basically, I meant to get the injection every three months. And I think once it was time to renew my injection, I didn't get it for four months. That's dead. Like, that's one thing I hated about the flipping injection. Another thing that I hate is your girl. Oh, it's every day. Message me. Your girl gained hella weight. I was an oompa loompa. Oompa loompa. My stomach was chatting shit. Like... I don't want to think about it. I gained so much weight. Obviously, there's there's pluses and good things about the injection. You don't get pregnant. You don't have a period, which is good, which is also bad. Like, who doesn't want to have a period? That's weird. Like, we're made to have a period. Do you get it? But when you're young and you're in a relationship and summer's there, you don't want to be bleeding. Like, that's all dead. You just want to be free. And I was free for five years. But I wouldn't go for it again. <laughs> 
too much way too much last year so in 2017 i thought to myself hmm i want to have babies soon my nurses told me that i should come off the injection within two years before i want to have children so i thought okay cool i'm 20 Two now i'm 23 now but at the time i was 22 i thought oh i want to have babies soon like 25 26 even though it's not two years i thought let me just come off it from now so i don't have no problems but i read some stories and they were telling me stories that people that stayed on the injection for like four to seven years some of them couldn't conceive i was so scared that i wouldn't be able to have babies that i wouldn't get a period again like there was so much going through my mind seriously literally the worst thing ever like can you imagine not being able to have children that's so mad so i came off the injection last year 2017 we're now in december it's been a given nine months since i've not been on the injection and i got my period back in june when i was bleeding i literally ran up and down i was screaming i called my mom i was so nervous that i wouldn't get my period a whole year and a couple of months of not having a period thinking that you're not going to be able to give birth what so from june till now my period has lasted two to three days like i don't have a period that's seven days actually tell a lie my last period was about six days two to three days is literally the normal period length for me this year forget so i can honestly say my last period was close to normal so i feel like i'm getting back to normal now but it's literally going to be two years so my body's taken two years for it to go back to normal and i feel so much happier it gave me mood swings i just wouldn't recommend it i really wouldn't recommend it so now i'm back on the pill unfortunately because i'm not going back on the injection i refuse oh i forgot to say the injections were in your ass Every single time I went for an injection, they had to alternate which bum cheek. Mad. It's so crazy. Oh, it's actually mad. Obviously, I said everyone's experience is different, so mine might not be the same as yours. I'm just telling you guys what mine was like. Throughout the five years, it wasn't horrid, but I feel like I feel like the circumstances after literally cancelled everything every single year out. So no matter what happened each year, I didn't have a period. I was living life. I could skin out. I could do everything i wouldn't go for it again i was so scared i couldn't give birth i couldn't get pregnant that didn't take long for me to cut my hair so now i'm just gonna run my fingers through and now i'm gonna brush through it so there you have it guys that was just literally a five minute video I don't know if it's gonna be five minutes but it was a quick video of me telling you guys why i don't like the injection and i wouldn't recommend it it's too scary guys man please like comment subscribe hit the notification button and i will see you guys in my next video love you guys also before i go if you guys want to see how i created this look the link will be in the description box so click on it and i will see you guys soon